Good day Grade 12s, welcome to week 8. In this week we're going to be looking at finance, growth and decay. In this first lesson it's going to be very easy, we're just going to be revising our simple and compound interest. Now remember your simple interest comes in two versions, the one is when we are increasing our value and the other when we are decreasing our value. So simple interest or higher purchase is given the formula A is equal to P, 1 plus I N, whereas if we are decreasing in value we have a straight line depreciation in which case a is equal to p times 1 minus i to the n so the money is getting or well, the amount is getting smaller and smaller so what do these letters mean a stands for the final amount at the end of the time period p is your principal that's your initial amount that you invest i is your rate of interest or depreciation remember that's always in form of a decimal and n is your number of years so let's do an example to remind us what's going on here if john invests 4000 rand each year how long will it take him to reach his goal of 24,000 Rand if the bank offers him 12% per annum simple interest. Okay, so we know that A is equal to P 1 plus I N. So what do we want? We want to know we've got that his principal, the amount of money invested is 4,000 Rand. We know that his amount that he's going for is 24,000 Rand. His interest, his interest is 12% per annum. We divide that by 100 to get it to decimals 0.12. And what do we want? We want n. Question mark is n. So let's substitute this in and then solve. So we've got 24,000 is equal to 4,000. 1 plus i n. So we can divide both sides by 4,000 and I'll substitute the i n. So we've got 24 thousand divided by four thousand is equal to one plus naught point one two n so we can cancel 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 four goes into twenty four six times so we've got six equals one plus naught point one two n so six minus one when we take it across becomes five so it becomes five equals 0.12n and then all we need to do is divide both of these sides by 0.12 0.12 and we go 5 divided by 0.12 and we end up with n is equal to 41.67 now you do realize you can't have 7 0.67 of a year so therefore we need to round it up. So therefore, n equals 42 years. Sure, it's a long time. Now let's talk about compound interest. Remember that you had appreciation, compound appreciation, which means the amount is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then the equation is a is equal to p times 1 plus i all to the power of n. Or we can have reducing balance depreciation depreciation and that is when the amount is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and all that changes is this plus the new equation is a is equal to p times by 1 minus i all to the power of n right and then just to make sure you know remember and know and remember what these letters stand for your a is the final amount at the end of the time period your p is your principal which is your initial amount your i is your rate of interest or depreciation but now remember that in compound interest, a lot of times we don't just have for years. So the N is the number of times compounded. So let's just talk about this I and N. Let's do an example. If we're told that the interest is 13.7% for two years, there are lots of ways that this can be compounded. If it is compounded annually, the normal compounded annually, then the I is just going to be 13.7 divided by 100, which gives you 0 0.137, and N is 2. Awesome. That makes it easy. But if it's compounded monthly, then we have two years, but we've got 12 payments per year. So it's 2 times 12, which is 24. And because this whole interest is now divided, because it's divided, compounded monthly, we have to divide this by 12. So now the interest becomes 0 0.137 divided by the, the 
number of times it's compounded per year and the number of payments that we have to do or that we get are 2 times by 12 which is 24. Compounded quarterly, well quarterly means 4 times a year so therefore your i is going to be 0 0.375 divided by 4 because we compounding it quarterly but now we've got 2 years, 4 payments a year so therefore that equals 8 Compound the daily, well, the 365 days in a year. So therefore, it's 0 0.1375 divided by 365. And now n equals 2 times 365, which equals 730. Compounded semi-annually means twice a year. So therefore, your interest is going to be 0 0.137 divided by 2. And your n is going to be 2 times twice a year, which is 4. Right, great. 12, that's all for revision on your compound interest. We're going to be extending in simple interest. We're going to be extending this a little bit in your next lesson and moving on from there. Please make sure you know how to do this, especially this bit here, where you have to change your interest rate and your number of payments depending on how it's compounded. Please make sure you understand how this works. Have a great day. Practice and do the assessments at the end of the section.